What's up, you guys? This is Karmic and Dane Santan, where we talk about karmic situations that could be going on in your life at this time that you need to be aware of, or this could just be confirmation that you made the right decision or you're currently making the right decision. Archangel, spirit guides, ancestors of my highest good, please come in and protect me as I channel this current karmic energy for the collective. Please give me clear and accurate messages. Thank you guys for all the likes, the shares, the comments, the subscribes, the emails, the bookings, the donations. I appreciate you guys for all the love and the support you show to me and the channel. I appreciate y'all. I do. I appreciate you. All right. So for some of you guys, you could have been seeing 11, 11 a lot. 11, 11. All right. Let's see energy okay so we have the middle world so your ancestors want you to focus on the present at this time and be open to love okay all right yeah so you have you guys are about to have some very healing communication yeah that's going to help your soul here. Okay, so something to do with love, communication, present. Yeah. Let's give me three more spirit. Ancestors, what are the messages? Nice flipped over. Okay, so we have East popping out here again. That was from yesterday too. So something about East could be significant. Teach and share. So you guys could be led to go to the East to teach and share something. Yeah, about plant, about medicines, or teaching some healing shit. Yeah. So for some of you guys, you're about to get like some access to some shit. Some kind of knowledge. Okay, because we got the owl here. So something about some wisdom. Okay, that you could be about to receive. But I'm hearing that you have to be open to love in the situation in order to receive some kind of access within your energy. Okay? This could have something to do with plant medicine. Okay? Yeah, because for some of you guys, I'm just seeing like some very natural like healers. Very natural plant-based like healers. Okay. I feel like a lot of you guys are really learning how to like keep your energy cleanse. I feel like a lot of you guys are learning like a lot of ways to like not drain yourself when it comes to work as well. Like a lot of you guys are learning or could be about to learn how to gain more by doing less or something like that. I'm seeing that for somebody. Okay, and it can have something to do that's linked to the plant medicine, like some medicine or something. Okay. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see. Let's get into it. So basically, you're going to be getting some downloads soon. Okay, in your energy. Yep, emotions are running high. What else? The answers you need are coming. Don't let the past hold you back. Yeah. Shed that snaky ass person or whoever this is. Yeah. Your dreams need a practical plan in the reverse. We have high priestess. And we have you are good enough. Bottom of the deck, the end of a tough cycle is approaching. All right, so that's beautiful. All right, so basically, you are in your mystic power at this time. Okay, your ancestors want you to harness your mystic power. For a lot of you guys, you have a lot of mystic power. You're going to realize when it comes to medicine, like plant medicine, uh, growing, like making things, like when it comes to your hands, that's very healing, making things from scratch. 
For a lot of you guys, you may be being led to do a lot of things from scratch or that's what you're about to be led to do. Okay, and I'm hearing it's all a part of you being open to love and your energy. So the more that you open yourself up to love, the more that you are going to harness this mystic power to heal yourself or to get downloads on how to heal yourself and others. So it's very important right now for you to be in the present and for you to be open to love because it has a lot to do with your soul ascension. Okay, is what I'm hearing. So definitely shedding like old skin at this time, for real, for real. Okay, so we gonna get into shedding the old skin because it said don't let the past hold you back and shedding old skin. So for some of y'all, your ancestors is warning you about uh, you letting the past hold you back here. Okay, so let's get into that. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn could be significant. You don't have to be. Shed old skin. What's this about? Shedding old skin and don't let the past hold you back. What's this energy spirit? Ten of Swords. Exactly. So it's the end to, to that shit. Yeah, we got lovers and king of pentacles. And we got emperor. So for some of you guys, there's a person that you need to shed that could have betrayed you over and over and over and over again. And you need to let this motherfucker go for the final and last time. If this is somebody that you haven't let go, you need to let this person go. Something to do with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, strong Taurus, strong Gemini. Okay, it's like, yeah, let this person go. Because for some of y'all, somebody may get a shocking message that somebody is into little kids or somebody is uh, something about somebody sleeping with their own family member or some shit. Okay, all right. That's what I'm hearing as well. But whoever this person is, you need to leave this person behind because this person ain't, no. Okay, also I'm hearing for some of y'all, whoever this person is, they like to play the victim a lot. This could be a person that always crying and always saying they're gonna kill themselves and shit. This is giving me that kind of vibe, like that kind of energy. All right. All right. Spirit guides. Spirit guides. Spirit guides. All right. So your spirit guides want you to know that there's a lot of ways to get something done here in your energy. Yeah, home. Yeah, competition. So it's like, there's a lot of ways for you to get something done. For some of you guys, you could work at home or your guides want you to be open into working at home or working for yourself or is what I'm hearing. Okay, it's a lot of different ways here. And I'm hearing like, you can have an ancestor that's gonna help you. Yeah, they're gonna come through with some kind of communication. And this particular ancestor is going to help you like with something in your energy to help you not let the past hold you back. Okay. Yeah. But I'm hearing be open to love. Focus on the here and now. Okay. With your dreams need a practical plan in the reverse. This could be somebody that's trying to confuse you as well when it comes to like decisions that you're making. So be very careful, like somebody that's purposely trying to confuse you and shit. When your intuition, you already know what you got to do. All right. So be careful with that. All right. This could be somebody trying to keep you in a karmic cycle. Okay. Current energy. All right, energy. All right, Uriel. We have wing messengers and crescent moon. 
And we have the King of Forces. Bottom of the deck, we have the War of Roses. So what I'm getting with this energy is you are about to have an ancestor that's going to come into you on the Encrested Moon. Okay. For the ones that know about the Encrested Moon. Okay. This particular ancestor is going to come to you on the Crescent Moon and help you fight something or give you some kind of download. Okay. When it comes to healing your energy or some kind of gift in your energy. Okay, bring it more up to the forefront. I'm hearing for a lot of you guys, you need to make sure that you are shedding like old skin and shit because that's actually like when you don't shed old skin, you actually delay your ascension when you do that. Okay, so it's like when you are led to cut shit off, just do it. You know what I mean? I know it's easier said than done, but it helps make your, you know, ascension less harsh. Okay, like when you just, when you're led to let shit go and when you just let it go, it makes things a lot less, you know, hectic on yourself. Yeah, because I'm hearing your ancestors want things to like flow for you. Yeah, we have caught. Okay, as well. So it's like I'm hearing your ancestors, they keep like catching motherfuckers up in your energy. And I'm hearing like it's really making people like emotions run high because people keep getting fucked up and caught up in they bullshit okay is what i'm hearing these snaky ass motherfuckers it's like it's crazy it's like they keep getting caught up they keep coming after you and they keep getting caught up so you about to get a lot of messages here okay when it comes to yeah that's beautiful energy. For some of you guys, you're when you meditate, you're going to go back in like Egypt days or some shit. Okay? And you're going to see something. Yeah, you're going to see something. Possibly when it comes to plant medicine. Okay? So something to do with plant medicine and your energy that your ancestors could be drawing you towards. Okay, something to do with, I'm just going to say like natural healing remedies. Okay, that's what I'm healing, hearing. Natural healing remedies. Okay, but like I said, being open to love is really going to like really bring out this energy. Okay, that your ancestors are trying to get you to bust through. But it's like. First, you got to, you know, be cutting off energy that needs to be cut off. Okay. You need to be open to love as well. Okay. Yeah. And whatever this is in your energy. It's like for some of y'all, you know, somebody may not feel good enough. Or something with some kind of lack, feeling lack energy. But your ancestors are saying you are good enough. And the answers that you need are coming to a situation where your emotions is all up, you know. So if you, so if there's a situation where your emotions is like really high in, something about I'm hearing the crescent moon, you're going to get some messages about the situation that you are really up in your emotions about. Okay. Yep, you're going to get some strong, truthful communication. That's what I'm hearing. All right, so we have lazy. For some of you guys, you're going to get like some real, the real deal on somebody that you could be talking to. So if you are dating and you could be like trying to figure out if somebody being real with you or not, I'm hearing like for some of you guys, you're going to get some confirmation that somebody is just a lazy ass motherfucker. Like, they not who they say they are. Okay, this could be somebody that you dating or that you, you know, you looking at to fuck with. And you're going to realize that this person, they don't do the shit that they be talking about. They be talking shit. Like, they be doing this and doing that. They don't be doing shit. Somebody going to realize that somebody is lazy. They don't, they don't do nothing that they say they do. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 
I spit, look, I turned the deck on a succubus energy. So somebody gonna realize something about a succubus energy. Okay. Whoever this person is, somebody can have a nice watch or wear an Apple watch. Someone could love gym shoes as well. So the succubus energy could be a mother figure. It could be anybody. Okay. Something with 22, 21, 26. Current energy. Current energy. Bottom of the deck, we have 20s. Could be significant. Something to do with Gemini or 6. Pisces or three, 36 or 63. We have S, O. Somebody could be a factory worker. We have O. Long, straight hair, real or fake. Somebody love wearing shades. Something about a sedan could be significant. We have B. Watch. Left leg, left leg and their thigh tattoos. Somebody can have a sleeve tattoo. Somebody can have some big ass feet. We have Z. Beard. Kind panties. Workaholic. P. B. Cut hair, lip gloss. Doctor, we have 40s, long eyelashes, real or fake, high class, something to do with tea, somebody could drink a lot of tea or this could be tea for somebody. All right, I heard Bianca, I heard Blair, something to do with Blair, I heard Sasha, I heard Simone. All right, something with Vincent, Valerie, something with volleyball. Okay, something about a bob, a bob. So somebody can have a bob hairstyle or someone named could be Bob. Something with Bobby. Okay. Something with ooze. I heard ooze. Ooze. <laughs> okay. What else, Spirit? Something about, I'm hearing Venomese. Venomese. Okay. What else, Spirit? I heard Savannah. All right, I heard Solaria, Solaria. I heard Salam, Salam, Shalom. Okay. I heard Sylvia. I heard Sanchez. I heard Shante. All right. All right, all right, you guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Someone could have twins or triplets, something about twins or triplets, all right? Whether this is like someone being pregnant or this is someone that uh, they currently have, okay? All right, so could have something to do with as far as the signs. We have Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, because King of Forces give me like King of Swords. I mean, it could be King of Wands. Yeah, this could be King of Wands energy. Okay. So it could be like Fire Sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. All right. All right, you guys. I really hope this helped. 
someone of some shape or form. I really hope this did. But this succubus energy, lead us in the past. Shed this motherfucker, whoever this is. Mother, baby, mama, whoever this hoe is. Shed this hoe, okay? Because <laughs> this person could be slowing down your process of, of rising, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Look at the description box below for any other information about me. Also, somebody can have three boys or three children. Something with six could be significant. All right. All right, you guys. Peace.